This is an important effort. It brings together not-for-profit organizations, utilities, uh, and the city. This focuses on single-family and multi-family units, and those account for about half of the city's energy consumption. While you can talk about coal, renewable, nuclear, oil, natural gas, conservation is the sixth energy source. What we're doing here can help a building become much more energy efficient, much smarter in the way they use their energy, and it will put folks to work. The mayor asked the innovation delivery team how we could significantly scale up energy efficiency work in residential properties. And so as we looked at that, we found there were lots of different programs available, uh, but people didn't really understand all the benefits of the programs. They didn't know what they all were. They were confused by some of them. So we're offering and launching today a one-stop shop to access programs to make it less confusing, to make it easier for people to know what they can do. And we're bringing targeted outreach to let people know exactly where they can go and how to access these programs through energy zones throughout the city. There's three key benefits of this partnership. The first is better access to incentives. So these incentives include over $22 million in rebates and financing, low cost or free assessments, and then some of the equipment that's included. This would be CFLs, low flow shower heads, programmable thermostats. The second benefit is a one-stop shop. This includes both a single phone number, which is 8559IMPACT, as well as a single website, which is www.chicagosustainability.org. Both the phone number and the website will get you enrolled in the right programs, so it becomes truly a one-stop shop. And the third benefit is acceleration. This is addressing the mayor's goal of scaling up, accelerating energy efficiency retrofit work in Chicago. Retrofit Chicago communities are the communities that can benefit directly from this kind of effort. We will see 8,000 homes and apartments retrofit through this effort and all of those residents and owners will save hundreds of dollars. Overall, we see this partnership doubling the pace of energy retrofit work being done. This means about 6,700 multifamily units uh, in the next 18 to 24 months uh, will get retrofits in the five target communities that we have, and about 1,000 single-family homes will get full retrofits in the 10 single-family uh, energy efficiency zones that we had identified. Today they are come to in do installation in my attic because I was so cold all during the winter, you know, and I wasn't able to do the repairing myself. So I was blessed to get the information and everything is doing well. I'm grateful. I had holes everywhere. I needed a lot of work, windows, roof, <laughs> installation, and I didn't have money for all that. So I wanted to see what assistance I could get to determine where to put my money. What we had was the installation done in the attic, so I'm telling you, I could tell the difference. When you reduce that air infiltration, you're going to make a home, first of all, much more comfortable. They're drafty old things, but then also you have the ability to significantly reduce the amount of energy usage and then also the utility bills. Before I had my doubts to see if it was really going to work, but it definitely does work. When we insulate a roof cavity, if we take an apartment that's 70 degrees and that day we do an air sealant insulation, an insulation, that apartment will literally go up 10 degrees. It'll be 80 degrees in that apartment one day after the insulation is done with the heat at the same level. So there's a big difference in heat loss. How this pans out, for a 25 unit multifamily building, that's a savings of about $10,000 a year. And for a single family home, it's a savings of about $350 a year. All the work that's being done on these properties will, will also create a lot of jobs. We expect about 200 jobs to be created. Well, it means life for me because it, uh, the program, I'm, I'm so grateful that I found out about it because I really was giving up. You know, I didn't have no help. But if it wasn't for the program, I wouldn't have made it.